Conscious Stewardship of Our Biosphere. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 148. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 148, January 24th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and creations, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred another 25% of the written content for the community lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of community, and it is now 75% complete on the site. Behind the scenes, we finished the final written portion of the community lesson plan. We also completed another 25% of the mind map for the winter lesson plan, bringing that to 75% complete, as you see here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week for our food self-sufficiency transition plan page, we added the nutritional and caloric targets for all the major food categories that naturopathic Dr. Matt Martorano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, calculated. You can see these here. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revisions for the Footers Foundation and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was finishing a huge update of the AutoCAD for the Footer Foundation and Flooring and updates to section 11 and 12 steps of the content rewrite, both of which can be seen in this image. We'd say we're now 65% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Also behind the scenes, we add an additional 7% of edits and content revisions to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 presentation begun by the intern team over the summer. This included adding live hyperlinks back to our website and additional specifics. You can see an example of this work here, and the updates to the presentation are now approximately 92% finished, and we'll add this presentation to our website once the revision process is 100% complete. In addition to this, and working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, started adding the aesthetic details and floor plan updates you see here. These updates included adding a Victorian look and increasing space efficiency, starting with communal kitchen and social space layouts. Shilsey Augustine, architect, 
It also continued developing the Compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4 classroom and other shared community spaces, which you can see here. This week's focus was on adding furniture and storage areas to the classroom spaces. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 3.0 of this work that focused mostly on finding and creating textures for the two north wings. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of learning how to do our own renders for the Duplicable City Center. You can see here this work in progress covering faucets, wall lights, and countertop materials setup. Our written blog has links to the tutorial videos we're learning from. Upesh Sithala, interior designer, also built the complete pallet closet in AutoCAD as seen here, checking the details originally designed by the summer intern team against the recreation and updates by our core team, and then adding in additional construction details as necessary. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued with these additional pipe couch designs for the Duplicle City Center Library too. The drawings you see here are her seventh generation drawings, continuing development of the couch idea, continuing with simplified design and angled and fixed seat backs. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, developed this second generation design idea for users to manually interface with control systems through hardware built into the bed design. Here you see the inside and outside design for a removable and replaceable box with a microcontroller that will allow for easy bedside control of all key system elements in the room. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued our work on the Highest Good Network with Andrew Herman, software engineer and core member of Futurist Playground. What you see here is brainstorming and outlining on activity types and how to track and organize time and other data in a way that will be useful to dramatically different organizations in a way that can be customized to diverse needs, but still be useful to the global collaboration of all of these organizations working together. Working with Oz Chersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, we also created this second generation draft of the licensing agreement for our trademark slogans and logos. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. What one community is doing is facilitating conscious stewardship of our biosphere. Our way of accomplishing this is through what we call an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combine them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as ed high good education, high good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that not only evolves sustainability, but is specifically designed to provide a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. We've even gone so far as to call this selfish philanthropy or selfish humanitarianism. Because our idea is that if we make a way of living that is better than the way that people are living right now, easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as truly attractive enough, then this idea of self-sufficient and sustainable living will spread on its own. And so the ultimate accomplishment of what it is that we're doing is total transformation of our planet into one that is sustainable within our lifetime, within our lifetime. This is what we call conscious stewardship of our biosphere and creating a global collaboration of teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities and hubs working around the world together to create open source and free shared resources, tools, tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for evolving everything that it is that one community is creating. And this is what we're doing. We're creating the prototype. So one community, the physical location that is one community will be the first of many. And our idea is to open source and free share all of the foundations, all of the components of one community. And so this is what we report on every single week. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like something you'd like to participate in, we invite you to get involved and join us. 
Our organization is an all-volunteer organization, and we have lots of different ways to get involved, ranging from the pioneer members that will move to the property and build one community to just sharing our information on social media. Getting the word out is a huge help to us. So if you'd like the easiest way to help us, share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access the diversity, the broad diversity of information that we're creating and constantly putting out. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Sue, we are on Pinterest, we are on Facebook, all the different social, and about 15 other social media and uh, different social media options because we want to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information, access our information, and to get the information out there. Because we know that if we share our information with enough people, if enough people get involved in what it is that we're doing, we can reach that tipping point of global participation where we can actually create a world that works for everybody. We can create a world that will sustainably meet the needs of every single person and living creature on this planet. We can start consciously stewarding our biosphere for the first time in human history in a way that looks into the future and sees a future far better than the current existence, which is already really fantastic. I think many people will agree, but there's also a lot of opportunity for improvement. And so through this evolution of sustainability, through bringing together people with consciousness for the highest good of all, that believe that we are the ones we've been waiting for and that we are capable of creating a world that truly works for everybody. We're bringing people together to create these open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions for high good living, to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are not only self-sufficient and self-sustaining, but are self-replicating because we're making easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough that people will want to participate and will be able to participate in a way that works best for them. And everything that we're doing is open source and free shared so that the diversity of creativity that is humanity, the diversity of ingenuity that is humanity, the diversity of ideas, wants, and desires that is humanity can be expressed in the way that works best for individuals and small groups. Creating it all open source and free shared so that our first prototype is just a stepping stone to hundreds, if not thousands, and even more examples. This is what one community is doing. This is how we're facil facilitating conscious stewardship of our biosphere. Uh, the number one thing that people, or the number one thing that we need right now, of course, is large scale funding. We're all volunteers. We're all unpaid volunteers, including myself. So nobody's getting paid for what it is that we're doing, but we're still seeking large scale funding to be able to purchase the property that we've been looking at and working around the county that we've been working with for the last five years so that we can actually start building. So if you or some of you know has the resources to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in one community, we'd love to talk to you. This is what one community is doing. This is what one community is creating. There's lots of different ways to get involved. And we, of course, appreciate the small donations, the $5 donations, $10 donations, $15 donations. Those cover the uh, expenses of running a global organization like ours, which are actually uh, pretty sizable. And they continue to grow as our website gets larger and as the website needs and things like that become larger. All those donations go 100% to those types of expenses. And so thank you for your contributions to those. Thank you for everybody for following our progress. Thank you for sharing our information. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links, to all the open source content, everything that it is that we've been talking about in this blog and for 147 blogs before this and actually even more before that, before we were doing video blogs, um, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for following our progress. And until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.